in all of your interviews, especially uh, you know around the election, you always had to open up by denouncing the violence uh, inflicted by the weather underground. And what we were wondering, which never got talked about, is what actually drove you guys during uh, that era? What drove uh, these activists that you knew to such extreme measures? I, I'm. Uh, let me just start by saying I'm not certain I understood the the beginning of your question. Did you say I always denounced the violence of the weather underground? Well, yeah. It seemed like it, it seemed like you always. I don't remember ha- that. Well, it seemed like you always had to open up by being like it was very you know regrettable uh, and so forth. I, I don't believe I ever said it was regrettable, but um, so uh, I'll I'll tell you I'll answer your question, but I don't quite agree with the way you set it up because. Actually, what I've consistently, including in everything I've written, is that um, there is no question that the Weather Underground um, cross, you know, lines of legality, and I sometimes say we cross lines of common sense in certain ways. But I never denounce um, what we did, and the reason is because, in the context of those times and what was going on. Um, I actually think that we were very restrained, and I've always thought that, and I still think it. I think the most violent force then and even more violent today uh, is the U.S. government. Do I think what we did was brilliant? Not really. (laughs) Do I think it was horrendous? Absolutely not. Um, You compare 6,000 people in one week being murdered by my government to, um, uh, you know, uh, an escalated piece of vandalism against a military computer inside a the Pentagon, there's no comparison. Um, and, and the kind of focus on the weather underground is this violent, unbelievably out of control thing. It reminds me kind of, if you put it in today's context, here we have WikiLeaks describing, right. you know, revealing all the incredible things going on, the real assault on democracy by our government in a systematic way. And how does the news media cover it? Oh my gosh, it's leaking, it's dishonest. Hmm. Who's dishonest in this picture? Who's the liar in this picture? Who's the, who's the force for oppression and exploitation? Well, in my view, if you look at the 60s and you look at the 70s, the Weather Underground was not only restrained, we were temperate, we were not particularly violent, we destroyed some property, 